Blend Bunny Cosmetics have been teasing a collaboration for quite some time. They even had us over on Instagram guessing as to who it was. So A, we know who it is. It's Ellis Atlantis. If you don't know them, they are the season one glow up winner. And this is their collaborations. We've actually seen the whole lot. I've taken these pictures from Blend Bunny's own Instagram, but I also have some pictures on swatches from Deandra Nicole. Mwah, she's fantastic. Really, really great. Let's discuss this new collection. They revealed this collection along with this quote from Ellis who said, My makeup collection with Blend Bunny Cosmetics is finally here. We've spent the last year creating and perfecting what I can truly say is some of the best cosmetics I have ever tried. Launching this Sunday, April 21st, this five-piece collection gives a small glimpse into my creative process and how I see the world of makeup. And in case you aren't familiar with who Ellis Atlantis is, this is them. I mean, look at how incredibly glamorous they are. Uh, basically, her whole aesthetic is like diamonds and jewels and shiny things. So it kind of makes sense that there's a lot of kind of sparkles in elements of this. So let's kind of actually get talking about each of these five pieces. They've titled this one Ellis Volume 1 Eye and Face Palette, which is like Volume 1. Are we getting a second one? What's the story here? So this may be one of two, maybe even three, who knows? They go on to say this palette is way more than a rainbow palette. It captures the essence of the rainbow whilst giving you varying undertones with bold matte formulas that blend like butter and gleaming liquid metal shimmers. The Ellis palette gives you the tools to create without limits. So that's going to be 66 US dollars. It has 40 mattes, four ethereal veil shimmers and one liquid metal shimmer. I think this is actually one of the biggest palettes that they've done. Like they've never done small palettes per se, but this is definitely the largest that they've done to date. Now for me, I think this is very, very pretty. However, right, it does remind me a little bit of Be Perfect and the Stacey Marie palette. So for me, it's not really something that I would necessarily need. Mind you, I'm at the point where I don't really need anything at all. However, this is a US indie brand. So for those of you who are in the States who haven't tried uh, like any sort of palette like this, you may really enjoy it. What I will say about Blend Bunny's formula is that it is highly pigmented. It's not one of those buildable ones. If you chunk on the color, that's it. It's going to take you a while to blend it out. So if you like a buildable formula, this isn't the one. But if you love like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, then this is definitely the one for you. But obviously, we can't really make any judgments until we start seeing some swatches. Now, these are some swatches from the fabulous Deandra Nicole. I want to also point out her background where she's put like pearls and diamonds and stuff because she always puts a lot of thought into this, um, um, like the way that she sets these things up. And she's taken on the idea of Ellis Atlantis loving those Julie bits. So I think that's really, really smart. I love the kind of galactic bit here. I think this is looking really, really pretty. And I mean, those shimmers right there in the center are so incredibly interesting. For me, I think they've kind of missed a trick in that they should have maybe had those be like a separate palette that you could have had, like maybe a nice five pan sleek palette. And people might have gone for that rather than the full palette. Because for me, I have loads of mattes. I wouldn't necessarily need it. But this looks really, really great. Super, super pigmented. And as per usual, there's some really, really interesting color stories. And I love that it's grouped in such a nice gradient. Like it makes so much sense and it's visually so appealing to me. Then there's the Solar Flare and Lunar Eclipse Dimension palette. So they're basically two trios of blushes. One is more pink toned and the other one has like a pop of orange. Now, I much prefer the one with the pop of orange because I feel like you get a little bit more kind of variation there. It's so pretty though. They're $26 each. And can I also just say the packaging, absolutely phenomenal. It looks gorgeous. And obviously he's wearing those particular blushes there along with that sort of topper, which we'll talk about later. And it looks phenomenal. And I'm going to redirect you here to Deandra Nicole, who's given some swatches here. And I love that she's kind of shown that you can ombre it. Like the Lunar Flare one, the pinky one, looks way more interesting to me now that she swatched it. Now I'm like, ah, I can kind of see it. Do I need it? Absolutely not. But it does look very, very pretty. Then there's the Celestial Cheek Glaze, which is sort of the topper that you saw Ellis wearing earlier. And let's be real, 
That is stunning. It's reminding me a little bit of this topper that Too Faced did, but this is way, way, way more affordable. This is 16 US dollars. So for me, I feel like this is kind of the star of the show, which is very unusual. And again, have to show those Deandra Nicole swatches. She just does them so well. You can see this is very, very pigmented, very, very buildable. Gorgeous. You could use that probably as a glowy blush if you wanted. And then the very last thing that they have are the Starburst lash clusters and whenever i think of starburst i think of the sweets they used to be called opal fruits but there you go that's a sign of aging these are individual clusters which i actually think is really really smart because like you could use those for like big big emphasis makeup looks but they're also really great if you like me have very sparse lashes you could just add some extra ones in there to make you look like a human being now they're 12 us dollars which i think is actually not too bad at all and I love the little case that they're in it looks super super luxe. I mean it's such a big achievement for Blend Bunny who is still in like makeup terms such a new brand they've been around for is it like three years something like that this is their first collab and it's it does look so so pretty I feel like this will do quite well I think particularly amongst an American audience for me I have a lot of stuff in my collection that is similar to this and because I'm based in Ireland it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to make an order deal with the customs duties etc if it's not something that I know is going to be super super unique to my collection now because I have a million things in my collection it's hard for me to find things that are unique so for that reason I don't think I would necessarily get any of these but they are very, very pretty. Can I also just say, they obviously put a lot of effort into adding in that mirror, that fabulous mirror in the eyeshadow palette. That is looking so, so cool. I think if I was to change anything, I would again, and I said this earlier, maybe have those shimmers that are in the big palette be separate because people may not necessarily want the uh, matte shadows themselves because I think, personally, if you've quite a few of the Blend Bunny palettes already I have most of them I could probably dupe some of the shades not all of them but I could dupe some of them and get a similar look but those particular shimmers are not stuff that they necessarily have in a lot of the palettes so I think they could have like really appealed to a lot of their existing customers by having that five pan palette and then maybe having this larger palette then for people who are like more new to the brand, etc. The blush trios, love seeing them. It's kind of reminiscent of, do you know the Anastasia Beverly Hills trios? It reminds me a little bit of that, but at a much, much better price. That's fabulous. All in all, I think it's done quite well. It's not for me, but let's be real. Things don't have to be for me. That's totally fine. Delighted for them. Fabulous collab. Really looking forward to seeing what people think, but I want to know what you guys think. Is this something you're interested in? Are you planning on picking up any of this? Or do you feel like me that your collection probably does not need to be added to? <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys think. I am interested as always.